Welcome back to Holland Surveilled for episode 6 of the Co-op Let's Play with Silly G and me, Mr Silly P. Welcome back my dudes. <laughs> That's back. your thing now isn't it? It's my my new uh, fan base is Silly G's dudes or dudettes so. I've got Silly Peeps. She's got dudes or dudettes. It was one of those things you just started saying, didn't you? Smash that like button, my dudes. And a couple I've of people commented. I've always said my dude. Yeah. Haven't I? It's always yeah, you kind have. Of been my thing, so. Back we we are back a... off holiday. Yeah, we're back home, which is nice, but not nice. Because I want yeah. to back in the late district. It's weird, isn't but, it? You know, I know. I know. We kept complaining about the Wi-Fi, and apologies for the lack of videos, or as many videos as we'd hoped. It was just, it was, it got so difficult with uploading and the time it was taking. And um, what I do want to say is, I, I don't want to complain. The Wi-Fi was okay for just general Wi-Fi, for just general use yeah. on your phone, whatever. But unfortunately, for doing YouTube videos and uploading, it wasn't fast enough, and it you know just slowed it wasn't the whole process down. The best. No, it wasn't. But anyway, we're back. We're here. We're back at home. I'm back at my gaming table. I've got my side panel. Everything's good again. I feel whole. I'm back on my sofa. You are? Yeah, I don't have a gaming setup like you do. One no. day. No, one day. So what are we doing today, Silly G? We're getting animals. We are getting animals. Sheeplings and cow weefers, <laughs> as we like to say. You've always got... No, we don't. You do. You've always called them that, haven't you? I don't know why. Very you weird. You started saying on holiday too. I did. Oh yeah, a few people have already been sending names for sheep, haven't they? Yeah, that'll be next um, episode. I'll make yeah, a list. You need to start making a list as well. So, yes. uh, where are we heading first? We need to buy an animal trailer. We do. Right, I'm going to go and grab... We've both decided we're going to use our smaller tractors today. Right, well, I'll say, I've got the, this larger Joskin, and I'm not sure how well this is going to pull it, but we'll, we'll do our best. And Silly G's in her class. My fave tractor. Well, no, the Elios. Is it the Elios? Yeah. Yeah, you like the Elios, but they don't do it in-game. Um, no, which is very sad. It was really, we were really both quite surprised, weren't we, when we went to class at Rickaby, how few vehicles they had uh, out there today, uh, today, oh, yeah. <laughs> when we were there. They didn't have as many as we, we thought. we still got a picture, though, didn't we? We did, of course we did. Um, as far as vlog goes, we didn't really get as, anywhere near as much footage as we hoped. It was, um, we didn't come across much farming, because the first few days we were there, it drizzled quite a lot on and off. And the farmers all seem to be in that at that point where they were all prepping fields for mowing and tedding and windrowing and and baling, because it had been raining. And I think on the last day, was it Friday? It was really hot. Yeah, it was, it was Friday. It? it was something like 30 degrees. And all of a no. sudden, everyone was out, and it was our last day. And yeah. we kind of every place we drove past where it was happening, we tried to get to a position where we could film. And we just couldn't get close enough to the fields to do any filming. I did manage to get a little no. bit of filming of some forestry being done, though. Um, so when that vlog is going to appear, I'm not too sure. There's a little bit about when we went to Grassmere. There's a little bit about we did a bit. I did a bit around where we were staying. I did a little bit of a tour of the barn, and we got a bit of kind of a couple of tractors and not a huge amount, but Should it's just I, it's a vlog. Should I read this? When it's you up to you. We are. We are starting to introduce mods um, because there's a couple of things we need to make sure we can do. One is the CSZ oh, pack. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. one camera. Well, I'll be leaving a list in the description of all the mods that we're using. Yeah, so as okay. we introduce some silage, you'll be adding it into a description what mods we're putting in. But we're going to be using the CSZ pack um, and we are, we've got an animal trailer and uh, we have actually placed a buy anything silo. Um, just to make lives a bit easier for us in this first year. Um, thank you for all the comments from everyone saying about how we should be thinking about making money. A lot of people said, just keep grinding away at contracts. Some people said, you yeah. know what, you just have to bite the bullet and get a loan. First year is often, you know, if there's things you need to get, a loan is the way to go. And it's it's an option and it's kind of one of those things that I generally try to avoid, but realistically it kind of makes sense. So, so lives, Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. I did it. What one is it? It's the Flegel... I can't remember, isn't it? Ooh. Flegel uh, something rather. But again, it'll be in the descri description. Oh, it doesn't say. It just says... It's Flegel something. So, what we're going to do... 
is Silly G's going to go, we're going to both drive up to the livestock market, she's going to collect her sheep, or some sheep, um, we're then going to drive out past the um, biogas plant is where we've put the um, buy anything silo, it's one by Edge Castiga Gaming, um, so I'm going to grab grass for her, so she's going to take a sheep down, we're going to give him grass, we're going to then look at putting in a water pump, so you can head off, I'll just follow you. Yeah, I was just looking at where it was because I don't know. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get some cows and we're going to kind of swap over. So I'll grab the cows and then what I'm going to buy TMR, I'm going to buy straw. Um, again, it's the first year, we've got nothing, we don't have anything, so we're going to do the best we can. So It's very hard. I'm not used to this. I like it though. I like the challenge. Yeah, well, and we have had a few comments from people saying maybe Seasons was a step too far, and we did say that right at the very start. We thought possibly doing the co-op on a new map with all the things we generally like to do. Um, I mean, when you think about it, Meadow Grove, we only did six episodes in total on Meadow, Meadow Grove. Well, we're on episode six we now. No, we only did six. So we're going to go way further with this. Um, we wanted to have a crack at Seasons, but obviously it's going to be hard. It, I mean, and that's... The, the beauty and the blessing and curse, isn't it, of seasons? It's fantastic because of the realism it adds, but it, it um, it's hard. You know, it, there's no two ways about it. I know there'll be people that are going, oh, I'll find it easy. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> but it's harder than playing the base game, I think is what I'm trying to say. So. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You have to think about a lot more. That is true. We have had a couple of issues with the... Um, sound cutting in and out the audio we're not too sure why it could be the wi-fi we are on friday getting an upgrade to our wi-fi although the upgrade is not much of an upgrade it's the best that our internet provider can provide um we are looking at swapping internet providers because there's another one that can potentially give us much much faster um so we are looking at a couple of options now we're both going to be recording and editing and posting and stuff so uh, yeah we'll see how we get on with that uh, where are we heading to? I mean, to be fair, I don't have to follow CDEG to the livestock market. She can go to the livestock market and I can head off, but it's, um, it just makes more sense if we do it together and everyone gets to see, sort of, you know, we are still working in collab. You need to back up to that. Well, you don't have to back up to it. If you're on it, it should let you open up the menu. Now, which, sh okay, we have options of... Oh, of course, yeah. Sheep, I forgot about uh, that. Um, uh, let me just think about this. If we go across to animals, uh, no sheep, you probably want to go if you want to go for wool production, you want to go for yeah. the merinos, merino uh -huh. wool, like my socks that I bought. <laughs> <laughs> the merino wool they, they produce really well, they're pretty good on seasons. Um, so yeah, for wool production. Now we've we've missed the wool production window for this year because that's spring. Um, so early to mid spring is when they're really churning the wool out, and then we'll go through the rest of the year and it'll just be looking after them. Then the wool production will kick in again next year. Um, you got ten? Yeah. Is that what you're starting off with? Just ten? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the amount that you can carry in one. Okay, um, we could, we, we're probably going to add to these as we go, but we're both just wanted, we're both conscious of the fact we wanted to get started with animals. I know Silly G's got chickens already. Um, I haven't got anything yet. I do have the ability to do sheep on my farm too. A lot of people have said pigs are a good way to get going on seasons as well, but we don't have a pig farm. Um, Which way should we go? Uh, go left. Go left, go straight across the top of the map, and then we'll turn right and down towards Biogas Plant. Okie dokie. So... How was your holiday? Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed my holiday very much. It was very nice to get away and to have fun. Do you want to have fun There's normally, a though? Farm dog diving on me. Yeah, he developed this new rugby tackle thing when we were in the car. Um, he is on the back seat with his harness thing clipped in, which you have to by law. Um, but he gets a bit nervous and skittery when we're driving, especially, obviously, it's that weird thing that, as a driver or a passenger, you're looking at the window, you can see the road, you can see bends coming up, you can see, you know, bumps in the road, that kind of stuff, especially driving around country lanes like in the Lake District, 
you can kind of anticipate what's coming but for a dog they don't know they don't understand and he gets a bit jittery doesn't like it if someone's in the yeah. back with him he tries to get on their lap so he kept trying to get yes. onto to Celia G's lap and she kept telling him no and he had to get back into his bed but he developed this thing where he would put his head forward and literally just lunge forward and she would try and grab him to stop him doing it but he would then just put his legs dig his legs in and just push forward like a little torpedo it was quite it was it was amusing he, to watch it was not amusing for me okay he it hurt painful yeah because the other thing he does is once he's on your lap um if we come to a bend or a turn or a curve he does tend to kind of dig in doesn't he <laughs> yeah make sure he doesn't go anywhere yeah but yeah it was a good holiday it was nice to get away um unfortunately we seem to be looking in the uk i don't know about anywhere else wherever you are the potential of heading back into lockdown again it looks like things are on getting worse again and the government are looking at stricter measures and reclosing pubs again and closing stuff and shutting things down so we're, we're just going to kind of see what happens it's all a bit up in the air in the next two weeks two weekends away we're supposed to be going to my brother's man cave beer adventures and graham make stuff that's his channel I'm channels yeah um we're going to his because it's my eldest lauren and their eldest jade's um 24th birthdays they are yes. uh, what are they nine days apart nine yeah. days or 11 days apart age-wise so they're gonna have a joint party and it's the first time we've all been together properly in months but how that could we get knocked on the edge in the next couple of weeks so we'll see what happens there this place is huge the biogas plant I when i did the map tour i came over here but i didn't really pay much attention to how big it was so yeah we've got a buy anything silo so what i'm going to do i'm going to get grass um how much do you want we're not going to need a huge amount are we or we'll just get a little bit amount. we'll get a little bit to get them going um so yeah what we'll do is get some grass what do you reckon ten thousand litres is that too much i i honestly don't know well we'll start with ten thousand it'll be enough to give them some feed um then we'll look at the water when we get down there that's the plan um we that are we plan. are incredibly conscious of the fact we need to do we, we need to be doing more farming we said that in previous episodes we know people have been saying you know it's all well and good you two and the banter and all the rest of it which a lot of people seem to be enjoying and thank you for all the comments and the people are enjoying it and that's wonderful everyone has been very nice and smashing that like button <laughs> they have everyone has been smashing that like button go smash the like button now that. yeah and and on mine I, CDG's and been getting she's been getting a thousand plus likes on hers I don't think I've had a video with a thousand likes ever so thanks a lot everyone both show us some love but like I said, it's weird because being a kind of, being an older, an older gentleman, I'm very much, you know, you watch a lot of the YouTubers and they'll start off their video and they'll say, you know, go and do it now, don't forget to hit that like button. I kind of at the end say, look, you know, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. But a lot of YouTubers are far more kind of upfront and open with that whole kind of just, oh. you know, just hit that like button. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe I do need to be a bit, bit, bit more like that. We were talking to our good friend, Mr. Dalit JD, um, my eldest daughter's boyfriend about youtube and we were talking about it last night and he was saying about a few things you should be doing on your channel and a few things i could be doing on mine yeah. um and things like that he said i need to be a lot more kind of just just say it you know and also notifications on mine and celia g's channel if you want to keep up with all of our awesome content whether it's on this or any other let's plays or any other content celia g's posting or i'm posting don't forget to hit that bell turn on notifications so you, i know the notifications sometimes don't come up as regularly as they should do on YouTube but at least you'll get notified when we are posting content so do both of those jump on smash that like button and um, turn on smash notifications it. so uh, yeah, that'd be cool of course of course this road is never-ending and we haven't got the fastest attractors what's yours running at 26 yeah yeah mine's 26 too that's all right and see this is the other thing we were saying because we're not jump cutting we're not editing chunks out we're just playing through um there are elements of this that normally on a let's play i kind of cut out I, you know if it's a journey i've done a long a lot of times if it's a, a long long stretches of road i just kind of chop them out um but we're very conscious because we're both on console that we can only upload an hour at a time um 
you know, it's, we just run through for an hour. So, you know, what we get done is what we get done. And, you know, we'll just end up we chucking out more videos. Fun. Yeah, of course we do. It's just all about enjoying okay. what we're doing. Let's back it up. Oh! Which one's your sheet pen? I believe it's this one to the... If you're facing me to the right. Let me just check something quickly. No, we can't drive through. Okay. Uh... Um... Open That's your trigger table. just there. Right, what you're going to need to do, you need to drive forward here and then back your trailer into the gap. <laughs> this is going to test your reversing skills. You haven't done this for a while, have you? The entertainment I'm, for the video yeah, has arrived. I, I'm not going to give any left, right, left, because <laughs> that got a bit mad with the... Just gent gent gentle movements, gentle movements, not too sharp, not too fast. You're going to hit the wall. You turn yeah, your tractor too sharply. It's just small, slight movements. You'll get a lot of movement on the trailer. The longer the trailer, the more the movement. So just take it nice and gentle. And you should be fine. There you go. Just nice and smooth. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. Open animal dialogue. There you go. Bang on. What? This type of animal cannot be unloaded here. This is the sheep, isn't it? Are you Why sure? being sheep. Um, how do I do the door? It isn't a fake door, is it? Oh no, it, it's a real door. Sheep! Okay. What? what is happening then? It won't let you unload uh, them. Let's move it forward a bit. Well, no, if you're getting the dialogue way. box coming up, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Ah, it's stuck in all the walls. Oh. Why is that trigger over here then? Mm. Oh wait, this is pigs. Not pigs, cows. This eh? is cows. <laughs> so your sheep's the other one then. Yeah, that, let's ignore that everyone. That's probably why it won't allow those animal types. So this is your sheep here. Yeah, because this one's yeah, because this one's already got like bedding in it. Because obviously, you, okay, you... let's ignore what just happened. That never happened. Oh, well, you've got a harder task now. Oh no, hang on, here, here, hang on, hang on, hang on. Open the gate. Drive into there, and then you'll be able to back more. Well, you're still going to have to go around a bit of an angle, but it should be a little bit easier. Careful, because you're going to hit that trailer. This is tight in here, isn't it? Nice one. Where are you going? That's it. Just remember what I said. Small movements. Take it easy. I don't think it will let me put any of the grass in for you until you've got the animals in. So there's no point in me trying to get in there and do anything. I would try and guide you, but... We're still absolutely blown away as well by the by the amount of people that are saying they're watching this on, on either two screens or they're splitting their screen. So they're watching both at the same time. It's amazing. I tell you what, you are getting so much... You remember you said to me a while back, I can't reverse trailers. That was absolutely no, spot on. it's the weird ones. Oh, the ones with the swivel axle. Those oh, ones, oh, I buy same. a trailer without realising that's been done. I sell it and I buy another one. I can't do it. <laughs> I did it with this one and I tried reversing it. I was like, no. Um, I don't think I'm going the right direction. Hang on. Let me have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, no, you need to straighten up just a little bit, if you can, without going through that fence. I should get a trigger come up in a minute, though. There we go. There we go. We have we have also introduced. Did I mention it just now? The CSZ pack. Um, we've got yeah. the CSZ pack installed um, because we're going to use the big bag lifter with straps for manipulation oh. of these types of things. Because I just find it easier than using pallet forks. So we're going to do that. My sheep, please. And you got merinos, didn't you? Yeah. Right, so now on silly G's, obviously you won't be able to see on mine necessarily, but if you have got seasons installed and seasons running, it's no good just having it um, downloaded. You, This will only work if you are running seasons on your map. But if you go into... Um, the placeables menu and you go up to animal pens with seasons on i can't stress that enough and go right along oh, to wait. the end there's a water pump for five grand so the water pump 
Um, you don't have to place it, but the water pump will make sure you never run out of water. It won't fill the trough up, but it will make sure it never runs out, which is incredibly important. So what you're going to need to do, silly G, is go into yes. placeables, animal pens, along to the water pump, and what you need to try and do is place the water pump as close to the water trough trigger as possible. Now, it may not let you do it because it's inside. Um, a lot of people did say to me when I ran seasons on Sussex that it is possible to place inside, but it okay. might not let you. Um, the other thing is, under uh, placeables, animal pens. No, but where should I, where's the uh, Oh, the water, water trough is the first one. It's the first, first trough one. just here, um, because it's... The water troughs are always easier to tell because they're the same height either side, whereas the feed troughs are higher one side, lower the other. It's saying it's going to collide with another object. Wherever you try and put it. Yeah, inside. It's not working. What about... I'm just wondering if it'll let you do it just outside the door. Where that... You see where the green bin is? Uh, and it round. Whether that's going to be close enough, whether it will allow it. Oh, it did let me... Just let you place it? Uh, I'm just wondering if it'll actually put water in from there, though. Have you placed it? Not yet, because it's kind of poking out a bit. Maybe... Can I do it to the right of the bin, or will that be too far away? Because if it sticks out a bit, it won't really matter. Well, it doesn't matter if it sticks out a little bit. You've got plenty of room in the, in the door, haven't you? I'm wondering, actually, what about if you bring it down the side of the building? Even closer, where I am here. Can you see where I am here? Oh, I've come out the menu. I'm wondering whether or not if you put it along here somewhere if it'll allow you to place it because that's actually kind of directly opposite the trough the trough's inside just here that's going to be closer uh, okay. putting it along there maybe mm. you way. need to be on the third section I think about here where the gate is maybe on there somewhere uh. I don't know if it's going to let you I mean the frustrating thing is you've got water just Which here section? Uh, this section here where the gate is. Here, uh, no, it's not letting me place it. At all, anywhere. Uh, let me. No. Oh wait, let's move it. We yeah, may not. Yeah, in front of the gate. What about to the side of the gate? It's letting me. Can you see where I'm placing? No, it? no, I can't see on my screen at all. It's by the... is it the water thing? Not the... like, if you go to the right? Come this way a bit? The IBC? That thing there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, all you can do is try it. If it doesn't work, we'll just delete it, and it will just be a case of, oh, okay, that's where it's let you put it. So now, is there any water in the trough? Yes. Oh, right, okay, bang on. So it's worked. That's fantastic. So your water pump now is placed, which means you will now never run out of water. But you do still need, if you want the health to stay up and get as high as it possibly can, you want that water full as much as you can. I'm pretty sure okay. this here, if you follow me, where are you? This here is your water pipe. I think this is where you get your water okay. from. So what you'll need to do at some point is get a little water trailer um, and then you can just keep filling them up. You just drive it around, fill it up, and you'll be good as gold. Um, but that okay. water pump will make sure you never run out. So what I'll do then is I'll put your grass in. I will drive the trailer around. I'll say I'll put your grass in. I hope I will. Like I say, this is not going to... Well, I don't know, it might fill it up. Now, somebody also said for me, for doing cows, not to bother doing TMR in the first year until they've produced young and they're doing milk because it's a waste of TMR um, realistically I want them to be as healthy as they can as quickly as they can um, so I'm, I am going to go with TMR um, just for that very reason right. Stuck. let's back that all oh. the way up till I get to the trough now I'm assuming it's going to let me feed them it might not so if it doesn't come up with the trigger for me oh it has that's alright there we go let's get them in there now like I say, we are doing this... It took 2,000 litres, is that all? Oh, of course! Right, that's the other thing. On seasons. <laughs> Normally, on the game... I'm trying that's to get this right. If you put feed in for animals, it lasts... On FS17 it was six days, wasn't it? 
on FS19 it's 10 days or is it the other way around? Regardless, it's one of the two. With seasons on, the feed you put in will only last two days. So you have to make sure you keep on top of the feeding. Because if it does run out at any point, potentially animals can die with seasons on. And you will lose animals. So your feed will only last okay. two days. Alright? Now, like I said, we are doing loose to start off with. But the intention is, above here, where we've got the hayloft, we are intending to do bales and we are going to store bales in the haylofts. That is the plan. Yes, that is the plan. We'll see how that pans out. What I'll do is I'll swing around. Uh, um, I've only used just over... Well, not even... No, what did I use? 1,000 something? Actually, if you look at your ha animal menu, so on CDGs now, it should pop up. If you do your L1 and options button, you should get the animal menu come up. Or the menu for seasons. Then scroll across so you yeah. get to your animals. Yep. Yeah. And it should show you sheep. And it should show you the water and how much yeah. food you've got in there. So how's it looking? It's feed full. Yeah. And how much is it saying you've got in there? 1,361. For 10 sheep? That's amazing. So I've got a load of grass here I can't do anything with. Um, unless I give it to my cows, maybe. They will take grass and hay. Maybe. Right, so what we need to do then is head off and sort out my cows then. Yes. Your, your sheep don't need anything else yet, do they? No, not that I can... Now what we might need to do as well when we get it done is swap over because I don't know if it will let you unload cows into my thing. Okay. So, so what I'll do you want to do? Do you want to swap vehicles now? Well, I'll just jump in yours if that's alright. If you drive mine I'll jump in yours. We'll go and get the cows. Be careful. <laughs> it's my favourite tractor. It's cute. I like red. Now I'm just trying to think as well. If I open up that menu... Does all oh right? Did you open the back flap on this, Emma? So oh, silly, G. <gasps> Give away your name. No. Um, world. <laughs> if you do L1 and X, the back ramp opens up on this. So if you want to go a little bit more kind of realistic, if you want to do the whole, although the animals don't come out of it, they don't drop, walk out of it, but you can open and close My it. Sheep teleport. Okay. I know, and you can open the cover as well by doing that. So you can have the whole top open if you want to as well. It's entirely up to you. My sheep are magical sheep. I mean, they all do it. It's one thing that a lot of people said when FS19 came out, how cool it would have been, especially now with pastures and that kind of thing. If with the livestock trailers, the animals do actually kind of walk out into the field, how cool that would be. Unfortunately, that would be pretty sick. Tis not a thing. It doesn't happen. Uh, so, right, I'm going to close that menu off again. There we go. Oh, it's so nice to have my side panel back again. Yeah, you really struggled when you were away. Oh, you were going did. to click something on the side of the sofa and there was just nothing there. Yeah, some people did say to me, they did message and say I should um, invest in buying Celia G a side panel. Do you want to yeah, talk about that? I do have a side panel. I do have one. Um, here's Got, the thing. I bought her ages ago to enhance her gameplay for her to enjoy it more. Go yeah. on. What's the thing? I just haven't, I haven't used it. Oh, I thought it was going to be a bit more than that. I thought it was going to be some, some really fancy explanation as to why not. I, well, um, I don't really have an excuse for myself. It's just, I like having it, but I know it's easier to use, but I like just having my controller. I know it's, it's easier to use it, but I think it's just really. Okay, then. <laughs> when I get my cool gaming setup that I have in my mind, then I'll use it. See, that's a very terrifying place. I can't imagine your mind. That's quite scary. All unicorns it's a fun and place. flowers, and yeah, I can imagine it's a fun place. <laughs> the same tune playing over and over in my head. Is it a tune or is it an anthem? It's an anthem. Cool. It's an anthem. Hundred <laughs> percent an anthem. Not to be confused with like a national anthem. It's, it's. Um, we have a kind of. Uh, how do you describe it? What? What are with, you going with to our say? music? <laughs> we say no. We we're talking about music when we're putting music on. Wherever we're going anywhere, or we're at home and we've got music on. We have a, a range. Of music. 
we've been raised listening to like obviously what stuff that's come out since we were born but also what you guys used to listen to and even what like nan and granddad used to listen to well i was brought up on everything 60s 70s um i grew up in the 80s um i like rock and roll i like blues i like jazz i like classical um i've always been one of those people i don't i don't when people say oh i i, I don't like you know i only like hip-hop i only like r&b i only like we have a very eclectic music taste in the house and i have, certainly have certain days and moods where you prefer listening to certain types of music i have a nice appreciation for music and i do love a bit of classical i, I just i like music um if i like the sound of it i love it i know some people will listen to something and they'll think actually that sounds quite good but when they find out either who the artist is or what genre it is they're like oh no i don't like that now you either like it or you don't if you like something and it's you know <laughs> <laughs> you need to explain that more because that's not going to make any sense um, to anyone. So basically, um, I do computer science, and on Fridays we have a, a lesson before the end of the day, and we do coding in that lesson. And my teacher puts on liquid drum and bass. Um, but whilst we've been off uh, and learning virtually, ah, there's the cop coming. Ah, ah, okay, this car's not stopping. Bear with me one moment. I just saw that. Okay. Um, when On the Friday sessions, when he sets us coding tasks to do at home, he's been leaving a link to like an hour of worth of liquid drum and bass to listen to. It's the weirdest it's thing I've ever heard. It's so bizarre. Liquid drum and bass. It's actually really good. Okay. It's a great session when you're in school, but obviously you're not in school. No. But then we got this situation then at home when music comes on. There are songs, yeah, great. There are good songs, but then there are there's anthems. Anthems. When an anthem Which comes you on, you can sing and dance to, and just put you in a good mood. You know, the vibing. Yeah. As I like to say. <laughs> oh dear. So right. That's the so. Question, then, what's everyone's anthem songs? Oh yeah. What's what's your anthem? What's what do you consider to be anthemic? You can just wait. Where did you? Did I just turn the wrong way? I don't know. I can't see. Oh, that. I did. I'm not the livestock market. I've not so. had a great driving day. If you saw a minute ago, I kept Crashed. driving into a fence and I was trying to get up, up, out, and see. Right. So cows. I am going for. Oh no. I'm going for Holsteins. I'm going for Holsteins because they're the queen of milk production. Um, they do require a lot of field. They're quite expensive. Field feed. They are expensive to buy up front, but they produce a lot of milk. So that's what I'm going for. I did think about the Ayrshires. They're quite. They're. Um, they're cheaper to buy. Lower feed consumption, um, but they are lower milk production. So I think the trade-off is worth it. Now I haven't got a huge amount of money, so I don't actually don't know how many I can carry in this. Let's just buy what I can anyway. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, six. <laughs> I can only take six at a time. I yeah. might have to come back off screen and get a second load. I'm going to start with 12. Um, now, if you are running seasons and you are doing cows, if you've started off and you're wondering why you're not getting any milk production, you will not get any milk production for the first nine months. The cows need yeah. to have given birth once before they start to produce milk so you will not get any milk production for the first nine months um, plus if you want to get hang on we need to go to the roundabout sorry because we're going down to my farm aren't we Who's my fault the grass into your thing? Um, yeah it'll, it'll see whatever it will take I'm going to get some TMR anyway the TMR I'm just thinking time wise we might have to do off screen but I'm going to come back up to the yeah, store up here so we can <gasps> wrong side of the road what am I doing yeah, sorry, wrong side of the road. Um, yeah, what? we can. Yeah. I'm going to come and buy TMR, and I'm going to do the water pump thing as well. Uh, we've already seen CDG do it, but I'm going to do that. But this is just us getting off the starting blocks, really. Um, yeah, if you want to have slurry, you can't give them straw. It's one of the weird things. Of, ah! of... <laughs> That's never a good sound in my ear. Just crashed into a lamppost. You're having an absolute mare, aren't you? I don't even know what's happening. This controller is so sensitive. Just a little movement, you go and off the road. Oh. Hopefully, it's not like that in real life. No, it's not. No, it's not bad. Um, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah, if you want slurry, don't you don't give them straw. Now the thing is, you need to, you kind of need to give them straw if you want them to be as healthy as they possibly can for bedding and that kind of thing. Um, it's a weird thing, and I don't know why Realismus Modding did it that way. You can't get slurry and manure. Um, if you give the animals cows straw, you will get solid manure. If you don't give them straw, you'll get slurry. You won't get both. So if you're trying to get both, you won't with seasons on. You'll get one or the other. Um, I always go for just giving them straw because I want them to be as healthy as they possibly can be. Um, so it's a bit of a weird one, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure why, because in real life, I suppose the argument was... I don't know, because even if they go out in a cow pen, in, if they're out in the field, they would just be dropping their manure on the ground, I suppose. And the slurry would be... The, there wouldn't be really any slurry if they're out in a pen. But when they are indoors, especially through the winter, a lot of cows are kept inside... Um, you would get both. You would get slurry and manure. So I'm, I'm a bit... Although a lot of farmers now with cows are using substitutes for straw. They're using sawdusts, they're using artificial things that absorb much better. So a lot of farms are kind of moving away from... Um, a lot of times the straw and stuff is used for feed more than bedding. But yeah, here's what it is. Don't it do it. I knew it. I knew you were going to do that <laughs> as soon as I said it. I've been getting down on the TikToks. No, oh, not watching them, just all this TikTok things she says. That's all with the phrases. And we yeah. also have a new thing as well, don't we? No, I'm not doing it. Because I always fail first time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it, that? It drives your mum mad. Yeah, it does. Right, I'm gonna so I'm gonna put the animals in first. But what? Where are you? Okay. Should be behind me. I'm driving. Um, but here is where the feed yes. trigger is so you should be able to well, along here I drive all the way through? yeah you should be able to I'll open the door at the other oh actually you can open the door at the other end why am I doing that for you you want to cut open the door try not to run me over well thank you well, well which is it just one wrong yeah yeah it should come up with the trigger but it won't do the trigger and think uh, until I put the cows in because there's nothing to actually give uh... yeah it did the trigger's coming up oh is it that's yeah. weird Right, what I'll do is I'll back up to this. I don't suppose I do need to back up. I could have driven through as well, but... Let's back up to the trigger. Get our first six in, and then we'll go back. I'll go back and get six more. We have 12 minutes and 33 seconds. I know, the time flies by. It's because we're driving between places time as well, but it's cool. Time flies by when you're having a great time on Mr. Silly P and Silly EG's <laughs> channel. And if you do, go smash that like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. There we go. Little plug for you there. <laughs> Thank you. What's for that. your favourite map? Oh, before I asked that, I touched up when Chicken Run came out. Oh blimey, that was terrifying. And well, what we've said I was before. Like, oh. Yeah, we've said before about long. Chicken Run being Synergy's favourite film. One of her favourite, if not her favourite. And some of us just say Chicken Run 2 is in the process, in pre-production, all the rest of it, but it might not be out till 2021, 2022. So we looked up to see when the first Chicken Run came out. How old do you think it is, people out there in YouTube land? How old do you think the original Chicken Run is? I think you'll be amazed. Whoa, I just had a load of feed just appear, as if by magic. Where are my cows? I shouldn't be right in the field, are they? Oh, it, there's three... 199 left. Left. Oh yeah, they're, they're yes. all over there. What I might do then? Do I need to open these to let them in? I assume so. Do they come? I don't know if they even come in. Let's open both of those so they've got the option question to come in. We should do that. We should do like question of the day or like word of the day or something. We could do a QA and a thing at some point as well if people want to. We, we might pick one and just do a QA. and a So while we're actually going around doing the farming on a particular episode, if people want to send in questions they want to ask us in particular, anything they want to know, um, we could do a QA and a one if you want to do a Q&A at some Did point. Did we ever get to say how old the movie was? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just saying, how old do you think? Go on then, how old was it, Silly G? 20 years old. 20 it came years out in 2000. old. It came It was made before I was born. I was horrified when they said that. Well, so when they said that, when we found that. 20 That's years insane. old. That's and it's just as good as it was when it first came out. That is bonkers. Now. Crazy. 
I'm in the same situation here with the f water pump. Yes. Because where's the where's the, where's water, the water trough? Well, the weird Hi. thing is the water trigger is What's here. This? this is the water oh, trigger. Here. Oh, around where? here where I am is the water trigger. But I don't know where the water trough is. Oh, is it out in the field? No, I don't think it's out in the field. I had this when I did the map tour. I couldn't work out where the water trough was. That can't be it on the end, surely. No. Wouldn't have thought so. I'll go do some investigating. Yeah, I couldn't work out, so I'm not quite sure where to put the pump itself. I don't think there's one out in the field, maybe is there? Maybe when it rains, they just open their mouth and it just... Then maybe that's the water <laughs> trough. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I can't imagine that is that, but... So this is all. Um, so this is where the feed comes out. What about this? What's this? Where are you? I can't even see you. Turn around. Where are you? Where have you gotten? You're right next to me. Oh, Come sorry. Come back into the. I'm jumping. Can you see me? What's this? That could be the milk trigger. Oh, maybe. Oh, is that for the bedding? That could be for bedding. Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm so it's confused. Uh, well, yeah, we'll have to fiddle around with that. So what we'll do, we'll have a fiddle around off camera um, because obviously we run out of time again. I'm going to go and get some tear marks. I do want to put tear mark as well. Isn't it this? What? Where are you? Are no, that's for, that's for sheep. This is the sheep barn. I can put sheep oh. in here so I can have sheep as well if I want to. Um, yeah, I'm really puzzled because the milk churns are here so I assumed that was the milk trigger but again that's an assumption um, I know that this is where you put the water in but I'm not quite sure where the actual trough is um, I am not too sure for placing what's this? Yeah, what's this over here that's what we're going to have to have a think about where are you oh you're outside ok what's this Oh no, that's the slurry point. That's the slurry that's point. So There's so many pipes. There are. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm sure people have, if you're already playing on here and you've already got your cows running, you'll already know. Um, we're just doing our usual thing where we're just not quite sure. Um, so what, what we'll do, do, how much grass do you say was left in that? 3,299. Um, actually, you know what? You might as well just put it in here. Oh, okay. Okay. If you just put it, if you just drive in and then just put a little part of it on the floor or something, and then we can, can sort. Can I drive out. out the other end? Yeah, I'll open it up for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you just drive in and kind of swing over where I am, and then just unload it on the ground, I can move it with a. I'm not sure what I'm going to move it with actually. I haven't got a bucket yet, I don't think, so we'll have to get a bucket too. But yeah, we'll we'll get there. You know, it's all. That's the beauty of it. So what I like about, you know, a lot of the times it's a puzzle when it's a challenge and sometimes I find it frustrating when I do a map tour and I can't find where all the triggers are. I know people message me and say, but what about the trigger and where's this trigger and where's that trigger and how do I do this and how do I do that? Personally, I find that part of the challenge of playing on a map is finding out, is learning and working it out, you know, solving that puzzle, solving that problem. But anyway, uh, right. We still have some. We do. Do you mind whizzing off to the biogas plant and grabbing some um, straw for bedding. If you get about 5,000 litres, uh, yeah, about 5,000, so I've got bedding for the cows, and I'll go up and I'll get another 12. We, we another still have 12, grass. another 6. Sorry? Do I have grass? Where? In the trailer. Why? Because it didn't take all of it. Take it where? In the sheep. Oh, you you put it in the sheep. No, I said dump it on the ground. I didn't say put it in the sheep trough. You said in the sheep. No, I d oh, yeah, See? in the building. Not in oh, doesn't matter. Well, at least it's somewhere. Yeah, the rest of it put on the ground. Just bring it here. That's why I said come over here, and just unload it on the ground. So you want to do? Is it R one or is it L one and R one to get unload, and it will just let you dump it on the ground. Just try. There, there's fine. There's fine. Just there, don't go too far back because it'll bleed through the wall. Um, yeah, so is it L1 and R1 and unload or just R1 and unload? It should come oh, up wait. with unload. Unload here. There you go. Is that all of it? 
Fantastic, quite. So we can get to that whenever we need it, that's fine. Um, yeah, so do you, is that right? Do you mind going to get some straw? Straw 5,000. Yeah, yes. straw 5,000. Um, you, you can have a chat, talk about whatever you want while you're on the way. I'll just go and get some cows and I'll stop talking for a little bit. So this is your cue to talk. What's your favourite map ever? Mine? Yeah. Oh man, that's a tricky one. Because mine ever. was like, Westbridge Hills on 15 was my favourite. And then on 17 it was Goldcrest Valley. And then, oh no, but it was Sandy Bay came on 17 as well. And then on this one, I'm not sure what my favourite map is on this one. Because I haven't played as many modded maps as I did before. Um, oh, that's a tricky one. So I'm really torn. Like I, I've said before, for anyone who's watched my channel regularly, I think there are different types of maps. There are maps which are pretty. There are maps that are beautiful, and the landscape is just phenomenal. Um, and I love playing on them because of that, because it's just so immersive and just wow. Then there are maps that are functional, where the maps aren't I know it's horrible to say aren't as picturesque aren't as pretty but there's loads of functionality and loads of stuff you can do on them it's very unusual to get a blend of the two and when you do it's brilliant I love Alien Jim's maps everyone knows that because of all the things he puts in all the stuff he it's adds so in oh, you and, know, all, and all the things you want he yeah. on each back oh he, uh, you know, amazing um, I have to say one of my favorite favourite maps is Oakfield Farm I love oh, Oakfield love Farm that. I love playing on it, I did enjoy Marwell, Marwell Manor was a nice one I think Oakfield is definitely up there Lone Oak was another one I loved but I did the West love Coast on FS17 the West Coast again was another oh, awesome one and I did a, a real in-depth kind of narrative with loads of four, what's five farms with different farmers and all different you know, yeah. I adored that but then I always come back to gyms because I like, for me, for fun of playing, I love the variety of stuff you can do on gyms maps. So I'm always very torn. I think if I was held, you know, at gunpoint and I had to make a decision on one, it would be Oakfield, personally. Whether you you personally think it's playable enough or at the moment on FS19 or Seasons Reg and all that kind of thing, I just find it, I just love it. It's a, it's a great, great map. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's it for me, I suppose. I guess. Suppose. Yeah. I guess so. A map choice is entirely personal. A lot of people message me and say, um, what map should I play? That there are so many parameters involved in that decision, in what maps you like, and where you come from, in the style of map, in what playability that's you what want. In the comments have been like. It's so way, difficult. Yeah, what what do you like? You know, that's what you've got to choose is what you want to go for. Uh, right, I like six more. Maps. I like small equipment, like the older machinery. That's like my go-to fave. Yeah. I'm, mass, you know, I'm, in, I'm enjoying massively playing on um, Stone Valley. I like the ability oh, to, to build up so and... Much and uh, massive machinery and that kind of thing but my my love personally is like I've said before it's what I know I must make Greenwich Valley oh yeah blimey that was a cracker of a map yeah it's really difficult isn't it um, I do like smaller maps and smaller machinery I do like like for me playing personally if I wasn't doing a video I like immersing myself in all the minor detail you know I don't mind the travelling backwards and forwards I don't mind from slurry spreading to use a small slurry spreader and go backwards and forwards to the farm to refill like a real farm would I, you know that doesn't bother me I find it really relaxing to do those jobs that a lot of people find quite mundane you know using smaller machinery and going backwards and forwards doing load after load of something I just love that so I yeah because I like small maps and small old tractors but in real life I love like the new Holland T9 Track. Yeah, you are a bit of a fan of big stuff, aren't you? Big machinery. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're sick. So. Oh, I can tell you're a youngster. Sick, bruv, isn't it? <laughs> I don't speak like that. Sick but, ting. 
Yeah, oh blimey, we're down to the last 30 seconds! What did you ask for again? What? Straw. Hey. Yeah, straw. straw. 5,000 litres. But we've come to the end straw. of this episode, silly G. Straw, yes please. Okay. So, do you How want to do... 5,270 That's fine. That right? That's golden, yeah, don't worry. So, we have come to the end of this episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. I do. What do I need to do? Smash that like button, bros. My smash dudes. that like button. Absolutely smash that like button. Um, if you don't subscribe yet, not already a subscriber, please subscribe if you want Go to. Smash that like button. Like uh, button. Subscribe, subscribe button. button and uh, the other one. Notifications. Um, if you want to leave a comment, absolutely feel free. We are open to comments and things all the time. I love reading the comments. They make me laugh. Fantastic, and um, and if you want to share either video, of course, please be our guest. But whatever be you should choose guest. to do. Thanks for watching. She cut out mine again. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.